Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. So for today's app review, I wanted to cover a easy way to use a feature that's now part of Android 7. Um, so let's say, so this does assume that you are an Android user and you do have a device running Android 7.0 and higher. Um, so the feature I'm gonna talk about is called multi-window mode or split window mode, depending on what's easier for you to remember, but the goal is the same. I think it's officially called multi-window mode. Um, so the default way is to ha open an app, go to your recent menu and open the second app. But let's say you don't have your the apps you want to open in your recent menu and you don't want to open those apps and then go into multi-window mode. An app called Screens will automate that process for you. So all you have to do is click on the, the shortcut that you create and it'll launch those two apps in multi-window mode. So I'll go ahead and start the app. So it's just an a app called Screens. Like I said, it's, uh, UI is very simple and straightforward. You have two plus signs. The top one opens the, that app in the top half of your screen and the bottom plus opens the other app in the bottom half of your screen. And then you can name the shortcut whatever you want and then hit create shortcut or set favorite if you want to stick the um, shortcut for those two apps in multi-window mode into your quick tile setting. The about menu is pretty straightforward. There's a screens shortcut. I'm not quite sure what that does yet i haven't really looked into it if you want to learn more about the app and the developer you can hit um more about it you can click on google play to directly go there to leave a review you can follow the project process on github as well if you can learn more about that as well um so as far as using the app as well so let's say um in this example i'll make a keep it simple so let's say you want to easily uh, keep track of a, a bill that you split between people so, and you want to make a list and be able to tally it off. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a shortcut for calculator and keep so I can put the bill into um, the, uh, keep track of that bill in Google Keep. And then I'll say, just let's say um, track dinner uh, bills and I'll hit create shortcut. The app will close and create a shortcut on your home screen. You can move it around, put the shortcut uh, wherever you want. And then you can also do things, let's say you have a custom launcher on your Android device, you can change the um, icon if you want. So if you want to do, let's say I want to put it as this or whatever, and let's say instead of track dinner bills, that's a long name and I want to just make it tracking, I can do that. App icon change, app name change, I'm all set. Um, so in order to use the feature multi-window mode, you just touch it. And then as you can see, it does require accessibility settings. So you will need to enable that. Um, you can either use a shortcut that it gives you from the app or go into settings yourself. I just launched the app and enabled it that way so I don't have to go around finding where it is. Um, and then there's a weird thing where I did put the calculator on top but it's opening it on the bottom here. So I'm not sh quite sure why that happens. It might be an app thing or a feature limitation. But for me, it doesn't really bother me too much just because I can easily um, use it either way. It's just a matter of personal preference where you want your apps to be. And then all you have to do is you can, or basically you can start using your, your apps as you need, as you need. So let's say 50 by six is 833. I already started a note earlier. So let's say I did that. On check it, you can create your list. You can add your title. So um, that way you are all good to go. And then you can continue using their apps as if they were in full screen, but just reduced in size. Um, and that way you can do whatever you need. And if you just keep track of various bills, like you went shopping with different friends or food over a course of a week and you're collecting at different times, then that works as well. So it's just an easy way of tracking things and using these two apps at the same time. So I will say that it doesn't, the app, are not all apps are compatible with multi-window mode just yet. So um, the app will tell you if um, uh, it's not compatible. So let's say I went, wanted to create a new shortcut and I clicked on the plus sign, I'll go down to an app I know doesn't work, which is XDA. And um, I'll leave the calculator as my other one, create shortcut. And so when I go to uh, click on it, um, and actually this time it works so that is weird i'm not quite sure what happened there but um earlier it wasn't um actually working for me so it's kind of weird so um it might also still be kind of finicky as far as which apps are compatible and which ones aren't but it doesn't hurt to try and see exactly um w um which apps do work and which apps don't 
Um, and then also, it also depends on the size of your screen, whether you want to do that as well, uh, do it that way or not. I know for me, um, I do, uh, because I just updated my phone with uh, Lineage OS, I haven't set up my shortcut, but it does help as far as podcasting goes. If I want to keep notes, I have Feedly on one side, my Google Docs on the other, and I can now use them at the same time. So I don't have to switch back and forth. I have my articles on top and my notes on the bottom, and I can easily work on it at the same time on my um, smartphone. And um, it's just this app just makes it that much easier. So it's called Screens. It's in the Play Store, Screens-Multi-Window Manager, so you can easily see that. It was recently also updated as well, so, they're, so it's compatible with Tasker. Um, and then they added the quick setting shortcut, so it is a relatively new feature. So if you want to put it in your uh, quick settings and have that access as well for multi-window, then you can uh, do that as well. Um, so that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And you can, of course, find um, this video and other uh, reviews at on YouTube at youtube.com slash Patel and zero one. And of course, podcast links, uh, social media links, subscription links, all of that good stuff can be found on the website at Patel and zero one.com. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening and until next time.